Hi, welcome to Chemasters.online. Now we are discussing on gate previous year solved problems. So just look at the given problem. Among the following, the most stable isotope, okay, the most stable isotope to radioactive decay. Okay, right. If you observe the given options, just A that is plumbum uh, with uh, 82 206 and another one 82 210 and uh, third option 82 to 212 and option d 82 to 14 okay right and uh, before going to give the uh, analyze the most stable isotope to radioactive decay we need to check uh, stability belt okay so if you observe it we have taken number of neutrons on y-axis and number of protons on x-axis if you observe the graph in between them uh, the the belt okay so the the belt in which nucleus are present they are very stable because their neutron to proton ratio equals to one okay that means the neutrons to proton ratio if equals to one then those nuclei are very stable okay so the nuclei which will be present in the given belt they are all stable nuclei okay right and if the neutron if the nuclei have more neutrons okay uh, when we compare with the protons count and uh, okay then that leads to beta emission okay if we have more neutrons than proton protons then it will be neutron by proton ratio will be more than one and for those nuclei are less stable or unstable to get stability those uh, nuclei which contain uh, neutron or simply neutron rich nucleus can uh, emit beta okay can emit beta by that they uh, get uh, neutron by proton ratio equals to or nearer to one to get stability okay that means simply you should remember that uh, the nucleus or which are rich in neutrons can emit beta okay that means beta here and if the nucleus which contain or which have less number of neutrons or which nucleus have deficient in neutrons those nuclei are unstable and they emit positron okay so by that by emitting positron they get nearer to the neutron by proton ratio neutron by proton ratio that is nearer to one by that they get stability okay right now if you observe the neutron by proton ratio for the given uh, nucleus different uh, um, mass number containing neutrons uh, nucleus here that means plumbum nuclei if you observe for the option a if we take 206 by 82 neutron by proton ratio it gives 2.512 if you observe for b we are getting neutron by proton ratio 2.560 and for C, we are getting 2.585 and T, we are getting 2.609. So in this all, in those all four neutron by proton ratios, the least neutron proton ratio are nearest to uh, one neutron by proton ratio equals to one is A. Okay. So in this all, we are, that means the value neutron by proton ratio is farther to the and one okay in if we consider all these uh, ratios 2.512 is uh, nearer to uh, neutron by proton ratio one so that's why option a or plumbum 82 206 is the very stable isotope in comparing all those three okay so answer is a right thank you